How's it going, everybody? This is Eddie, and uh, this is gonna be the first video on my new channel called Ed Eddie Edster. I'm um, actually coming from an old channel called Rob and Eddie. Uh, it was with me and my brother Rob, who was filming this. And uh, yep, yep, okay, yeah, <laughs> that was him. Um, and uh, just kind of starting fresh. And, he doesn't want me know. in the name of the channel anymore. Yeah, I mean, basically, um, because he was never in any of the videos. He just um, wants three of himself. Yes, three myself. Ed, Ed, well, it's kind of a spoof on uh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, that old TV show, which I actually always hated because I thought those doofuses gave Ed, Eddie a bad name. But let's 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 move on to the topic of this video, which is building a computer, which is the first thing I'm doing. So um, I'm going over my parts in this video. Next part, we're going to actually start building it. Uh, I got that backwards. Uh, so let's uh, let's start with this. This is the processor. I'm going with the uh, Intel Core i7 processor, and I'm doing the uh, 3770K um, and uh, what that just the 3770 is just this, the uh, like the model or series no no the i7 is the series it's like the model of this processor it's the version of the i7 processor that I'm going with and uh, this table's in the way I want it I want to I want to go closer uh, maybe I'll just do this <laughs> and uh, yeah is that gonna work? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, um, and it's got the little K at the end of it because it can be overclocked. But that's not what we're going to be doing. Um, this is the first time I'm building a computer. I should mention that. So, um, you know, we'll wait. We'll save that till a later date, um, and we will get into that a little bit more later. But it can be overclocked. So important to mention. The box is crumpled on this one. It's another thing I want to mention. Um, so hopefully nothing got damaged in shipment. I doubt it. I doubt it. We'll see. All right. Next, let's move to uh, this. So this is the Intel. Another Intel product it is a solid state drive. It's the 520 series. Uh, good solid state drives. Uh, if you don't know what a solid state drive is, it's another form of long term storage, long term memory, not not RAM memory, but long term memory, uh, much like a hard drive. Except it's it doesn't run on a, on a spinning optical disc. It is a different read-write system that's much faster, um, but it has a shorter lifespan and it's more expensive for space. So if you see, this is only 120 gigabytes. You probably can't see that, but um, it's only 120 gigabytes. Uh, so it's probably going to be reserved for our operating system. And uh, so I'll move up here so you can see it. Um, it's probably going to be 120 gigabytes. It's the it's Intel Intel Solid State Drive 520 series. Um, it has a short short uh, shelf life. Well, not shelf life, but it's short lifespan, and it's a very predictable lifespan. There's a very limited uh, and finite predictable number of reads and writes it can uh, perform before it breaks down. I don't know what that is for this particular part, but we will have to have backups, which luckily we have. Uh, a large normal hard drive to go along with the solid state drive. I think I was in the middle of saying this. The solid state drive is um, going to be for whatever games we're currently playing to keep them going quickly um, and our operating system so it, we can you know, do that kind of stuff real quickly. But we have a Seagate uh, Barracuda one terabyte hard drive. Um, Used to have brand loyalty to Seagate, but they slipped up a bit recently on uh, some of their parts. So I don't. I like to consider myself as someone who doesn't have any brand loyalty. Um, but I should mention that Intel processors are better. Uh, it's just a fact. <laughs> but they're more expensive. So I don't have a loyalty to them because it is a trade-off for sure. Um, and uh, if you are on a budget you're going to want to get a good processor, a good probably AMD processor that will be cheaper and still be good. Keep in mind, AMD processors are power hungry and they definitely take a lot more power, which means you might need to upgrade your power supply, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, and uh, if you do have to update your power supply for it, uh, you might be spending more money on your power supply that you could have just spent on a letter, better and less power hungry processor on Intel, which is why I go Intel. Um, and uh, or I could be wrong. Who knows? 
Uh, next, let's talk about memory. I'm going with Vengeance LP, 16 gigabytes of memory, Corsair. Um, you'll see commonly in these parts that the brands Gigabyte and Corsair come up a bit. Actually, I don't know about Corsair, but Gigabyte for sure comes up. I don't have brand loyalty, like I said, but this is the first time I'm building a computer. So, people have recommended that Gigabyte and Corsair have good parts. They last long, so that's why. Um, other than that, no other reason. Um, if I get in here a little bit, and I can show you that I have, uh, so it's 16 gigabytes, and it's, uh, where does it say that? Right on there. Two sticks of eight. Um, so depending on what motherboard you use, your memory will work better if it's in two sticks, or four sticks, or three sticks, or one stick. Uh, it all depends on your motherboard. Uh, most common are two or four, and more common than four is two. Um, and what basically what that means, I don't know the exact wording on this, we'll get into it more when we're building it, and I can actually read the manual on the uh, motherboard, but your motherboard might operate in two channels, um, and it, the process, it'll have the processor interact with the memory uh, in two channels or in four channels, so it'll be faster if you split it up into four, if it operates in four channels, if you split your memory up into two. It, it's it kind of doesn't matter, it kind of does matter. Um, I didn't research it beforehand um, when I bought the parts. So for all I know, for, perhaps it would be better to have four sticks of four depending on our um, motherboard, but I don't think it's going to change the speed that much. Both will work with each other. It's just if you're really nitpicky and going to optimize it, which I don't care too much about. Uh, next, let's get out um, exactly what we were just talking about. <coughs> The motherboard. Um, so this is, like I said, a gigabyte, and it is the Z77X D3H. I don't know what that means. Um, motherboards and power supplies are still a pretty big mystery to me. Um, there's a lots of information about it that I don't know compared to the other parts. I mean, uh, yeah. But if you if you see up here, unlocked performance with Intel K. CPUs. So I said the in, the processor had a K at the end, um, so it can be overclocked. You do need to have that ability with a K at the end also on your motherboard in order to be able to use that overclocking. So perhaps we will um, do that eventually, but not in this series and not right now. Also, I should mention, I forgot to say, with the processor, I'm going with the stock fan. Um, if I were to overclock it, I would definitely need to buy a new heatsink fan um, because when you overclock your processors, they do get hot. You do not want it to cause any damage. Um, but with the stock fan on the normal processor, it's meant to handle the speeds and heat of the processor, so you don't need to spend any extra money, which is nice. Uh, what else do I have to say about this motherboard? Um... I don't know, like I said, they're still a bit of a mystery to me. Uh, next, let's move on. Another Gigabyte product, it is the graphics card. Um, I'm going with the NVIDIA graphics card. I have a slight brand loyalty to NVIDIA only because I've had more experience with them and I just like them better. Um, but it's not for any real reason. I don't have any real like evidence for why their products are better to back it up. So. I'm not going to call it brand loyalty, I'm just going to say I generally use NVIDIA. Um, it's the GeForce GTX 680, um, which is almost the newest... What are they up to at this point? I think they might be only up to 690, so I think I'm only one behind. Um, and this should be nice for our games that we're going to be playing. Um, it's a physically big box and a physically big graphics card, and I hope... It, the way building computers works in general, is that there are just standards that people go by. ATX, um, that abbreviation, I don't even know what that stands for, but that's uh, information on your tower and your motherboard and your graphics card. It kind of has to do with the general size of things, but there's no real like strict rules as to how big things are. So perhaps, like I know that on memory, what you'll see often is some heat spreaders but it's really just cool little fins on the back to make it look cool, to appeal to gamers who like the look of your parts. And sometimes those actually get in the way of other parts. So perhaps this is a little bit, a little bit too bulky, and this is going to be very bulky. And perhaps we won't have room for it. There's only one way to find out, and we will do that. 
when we build it. Um, next, we will talk about the other, the other mystery to me, which is the power supply. It was 620 watts. I think this computer setup requires a minimum of 500, so we're overboard, which is a good thing. And you do want to be significantly over, in my opinion, because you never know when one particular part is going to be slightly more power hungry than you originally anticipated. It is uh, 80 plus bronze certified, which is pretty good. I think they go up to platinum and they have bronze, silver, and gold platinum. Um, so bronze is okay. Um, and it is modular, which I don't really know what that means. I think what that means is that any cord that you're not using in it can just be unplugged, which is going to be very helpful for our organization inside the case. Unfortunately, that means that this was a bit more expensive. Um, but I could be wrong about what that means. Uh, yeah, it is a Seasonic, um, another brand that's been recommended, but I have no experience with it. Uh, next up is the simple stuff. Uh, the RaptorGaming.com, uh, that's the website, um, Raptor Gaming LK1 Gaming Keyboard with red WASD and arrow keys that I can swap out for black ones, um, I think it's just a USB thing, simple, um, I already have a mouse so I can get one of those, and, uh, then two things, oh, We have the Asus, uh, an Asus brand DVD writer and reader. Now, these days these are all the same, basically. But in years past, I have had problems with DVD readers and writers and CD readers and writers because there's two kinds of DVDs. There's DVD minus R's and DVD plus R's. Most of these, for a long time, have been able to read both. Uh, but I'll. In years not too long ago, um, a lot of them couldn't write both. So one thing I just recommend you double check is to double check that it can read both DVD plus R's and DVD minus R's and write and write DVD plus R's and DVD minus R's. Blah, 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 blah. Lots of syllables. Um, but again, these days they're they, these are dirt cheap and and all the same for the most part. Um, but you do need one. Now, where? I'm missing a few things. Great. Um, uh, so, the two things that you don't see here, three things, really. Where the hell? Look around. Oh, I brought it upstairs. <laughs> Alright, but forget about it. Going with Windows 7. Windows 8 is out. Um, it's, it looks like shit. Uh, it, um, <laughs> Rob's gasp that I said shit. Uh, no, you don't need to get it. I'm, I got OEM, OME, OEM, I don't know. Some, it, it, it's, it, what it basically is, is, uh, Windows 7 that is, like, for computers that you're building yourself. So it doesn't come preloaded, it doesn't come with a manual, it doesn't come with all these other stuff. It's just the disk with Windows 7 on it that you can install. Um, what was I saying? Oh, Windows 8. Windows 8 is designed to be a touchscreen. Visually, I think that I could get used to Windows 8, and visually, I think... <laughs> Stop mocking me behind the camera. <laughs> uh, and visually, I think <laughs> that uh, I could get used to Windows 8. I also think that um, it is something that, if used with a touchscreen, probably could work out fine. Um, the only problem is, is that no one's used touchscreens until this point with computers. So, Touchscreens are few and far between and expensive. And it was like an $800 price difference if I actually wanted to get a decent touchscreen to go along with this computer. And I didn't want to spend that much money on something that uh, is new because, in general, the combat compatibility issues won't be worked out yet. So I'm just sticking with Windows 7 and a monitor that's pretty generic. Um, and it's a 1080p monitor. And uh, it's over there. It's hooked up to my laptop. You don't have to worry about it. The other thing that's not represented here, just because of space, is the case. I got a Coolmaster Elite 311 case. Pretty generic, pretty simple, and that's that. Um, so, the last thing we have to deal with, there's two things. Uh, I got this little guy here, I'm going to have to go get a bunch more. It's just a simple twist tie. Actually, I should probably use 
plastic zip ties instead because they don't have any metal on the inside. Luckily this is coated, uh, but still the metal is showing at the very ends and it's probably not a good idea. Um, but you do need these. I might not need to because of the modular power supply. Uh, the wires might be out of the way sufficiently. Uh, oh, fantastic. Zip ties and colorful too. Which is great because my case has a window to look inside. Um, and the last thing is tools. Now this might look intimidating. I know that it is a little bit intimidating for me because like, whoa, that's a lot of tools. Um, is that a gun? Uh, <laughs> no, it is not a gun. Uh, but it is just a fancy handle for a screwdriver that, you know, like, I, you know, it's just got that little uh, capability where, like, you can only twist it one way and it'll actually give any uh, tension or friction or torque or whatever the word is. Um, and I'm just probably going to be using this small Phillips head. Um, perhaps some of the larger sizes with some of the larger screws. But um, if you just have, it is magnetic, which is helpful, um, and also sometimes really annoying, but uh, if you just have a Phillips head screwdriver um, that is uh, small, to medium size, around, around this size, um, yeah, don't worry about it, it's, I'm going to guess it like a quarter of an inch, maybe smaller, eighth of an inch um, in diameter. And uh, that's all the tools you need, that's all the skills you need. If you can use a screwdriver, you can build a computer. Um, the, real, the real disconnect between your average person and build a computer comes with the learning of computer parts and exactly what they mean and translate to in computer incompatibility, which is something that I struggled with and had to get many people to help me. But I have ready now, so. Uh, last thing that we got is three free gifts. And I'm going to stand all the way back here when I show you these because last time when I recorded this, um, I held the camera myself. It was super shaky and bad quality. But um, I also showed you the codes on my free gifts and you can't have them. Um, so, number one is Civilization V. Not a big fan of those games. Those are like those top-down strategy games, I think. I think. Um, not a big fan. Might play it, might not. Let me know what you think. Um, I got Borderlands 2, which is like an open world shooter, I'm pretty sure. Rob, do you know? It is? Yeah. Okay, um, I'm very excited. Never played Borderlands 1, but I can get into it. And the next one's one I'm super happy about because it's Assassin's Creed 3, which is super fun. And a uh, big fan of the series. Never played Revelations and only played half of Brotherhood because Ezio can eat a dick. Um, I, I just, I, I got sick of dragging him out and seeing the same cities and Astacin, you know, that uh, over and over again. Um, but I did miss a significant amount in the Desmond model storyline because of that, unfortunately. So, uh, I'll have to get, 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 I'll have to get caught up. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to get caught up on that. Um. Uh, I guess since we are using the plastic zip ties now, you will probably want scissors. That's the other thing that was bad about the last time I recorded this, is I had these scissors. And I, I had them like in my one hand, and I was holding the flip cam on the other one. And, and I was just doing this as like a fidget, so in the background you can hear like, snip, snip, snip. And it's like, what are you cutting? It's, you know, it's weird. Um, so I think we're ready to get started. Uh, thank you for watching this video, though. Uh, that is the end for today. Next video, uh, we will begin putting this together. Uh, gonna, you will see the case. We'll start getting into that kind of a thing. Um, and we'll go in-depth on more parts. And hopefully I'm going to put it, to, it together um, with as few problems as possible. But this is my first time, so no promises. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please show us some kind of support. I really appreciate it. Uh, go check out my Minecraft Let's Play and my Don't Starve Let's Play, which are the only two series that are currently going on on my other channel. Uh, Rob and Eddie, and maybe Rob is in some of those videos. He's actually in the last, or second to last video on Guns the Duel, but whatever. Um, and stay tuned on this channel for the rest of this series, and also some Assassin's Creed 3. What? Bye. <laughs>